Hi YouTube, it's Kiana. This is the fourth time I recorded this video. I actually went through the entire video a second ago to realize I hadn't recorded not one second of it. Hmm. Really, Kiana? Really? Anyway, we're going to go through this real quick because I'm tired of saying the same stuff over again. Alright. Um, this is a fresh retightening. I retightened my hair on Saturday. It took me about um, four hours to complete my retightening this time, which is a lot better than last time. Um, last time took me like a week. No lie. A week. I don't know what was going on. Actually, I do know what was going on. I sat in front of the mirror and took to retighten my hair, but I found out that if I just sit and watch a movie or two, especially Lifetime movies, because I've watched Lifetime Movie Network, and <laughs> sit there and go through my hair, I could retighten my hair a lot quicker. Um, and that actually worked for me, so, yeah. And, um, I didn't have any catastrophic incidents. I had to retighten, not retighten, I'm sorry. I had to, um, combine a couple because they were either really thin or it was accidental retightening, <laughs> relock, and I didn't mean to lock those two together. It's like knotted on one of them, but that's the only mishap I had, which is really, really good. Um... They are doing really well. They're still kind of curly from when I roller set them. Um, this weekend is wash week. I wash my hair every um, two weeks. Not every two weeks, I'm sorry, every other week. <laughs> wow, every two weeks. Every other week. So um, this is a wash week. So I'll be washing my hair on Saturday and doing my apple cider vinegar rinse. But also um, I'll be adding something else to my daily regimen. And before I forget, I um left something out of you know the um, video where I talk about what all I use in my locks. Um, as a daily spray or spritz, I spray um, on your handmaid's juice one of the juices. I have like a travel pack with the three that came in it, and um, I like the French juice. I personally like the smell of it. That's my son in the background. Um, I like the smell of it. I might be the weird one. <laughs> I don't know, but I love the Franklin smell, so I tend to spray that one. And um, juices and berries, I love that one. That's why I usually spray on my hair before I go to work when I'm doing military drill, because it's not like a loud, offensive smell. Like the Franklin some people don't like that, but with juices and berries, it's like a universal scent for work for me anyway. So I love those. Um, but um, in addition to that, I also spray straight water on my hair, but um, um, a friend of mine, Afro Free TV, um, I've known her since high school, we went to high school together. Um, she mentioned to me on Facebook a while back um, about um, a salt, a sea salt spritz that she uses on her locks to help them. She helped spray them on her locks, get my words together, to help them lock up quicker. And um, our locks were, she's locked and born the same weekend just about. And her locks are, um, I think she said that if they're not completely locked, they're about 85% of the way there. And mine are not. <laughs> I mean, some of my, the ends are still curly. Some of the ends have actually rounded off. It's just a good mix of the two. But I am ready for them to, you know, lock up. So um, I was going to do the sea salt spritz on my hair. But then my sister-in-law, who is um, traditional locking, said her lock she told her, in order to get her hair to lock up quicker, to use um, lemon juice, to spray lemon juice on her hair twice a day. So I figured I would try the lemon juice one first, and then if I didn't like that or the results of that, then I would go to the sea salt spray. So I went out and I bought a spray bottle because I didn't have one. Um, my other one's full of apple cider vinegar reds. But spray bottle, purple, my signature color. Anyway, um, and then I went out and bought um, some lemon juice, just a regular, run-of-the-mill, 100% lemon juice. Um, now, from what I was reading online, because I'm a researcher, I researched the death out of stuff, okay? Um, it said just to pour it in a spray bottle and spray it on your hair twice a day, straight. I can't do that. For some reason, I'm having um, a conniption about that. So what I'm going to do is um, two parts lemon juice to one part water 
and spray that on my hair and see how that works. And if I like the results, I will let y'all know about the results in a couple of weeks. Um, if I don't like the results I'm getting, then I will be doing the sea salt spritz because I know for a fact that, you know, that's been tried and true and tested by, you know, somebody that I know. Anywho, um, along with my little spritz bottle I got from the beauty supply store, I picked up two Nika K lip liners, one in red and one in pink sachet. Um, the red liner is actually just named red. And it's a very pretty red shade, if y'all can see that. Um, it's brown girl friendly red, because you know there's a difference. And let me see, because I watched them earlier when I thought I was recording. <laughs> Little jeez. Um, but there it is right there. A nice pretty red shade. I don't know if y'all can see that. If y'all can't, I'll take pictures. And try to attach it to the video. I'm not sure I do that yet, but my husband can figure it out for me. And then pink sachet. My daughter got a hold of this. She thought it was for her. And I'm not sure what I would do with pink sachet yet. But I'm pretty sure I'll find something. If not, my four year old loves makeup and she'll use it. <laughs> but there on the top of the red is the pink sachet. Very pretty. It's very pretty, and I have lipsticks or glosses that would actually go well with these. I'm not, for the pink sachet, I'm not too sure about, I'm not a frosty lip girl. Um, I don't know where it is, but I can't stand to see people with frosty lips like they just, I don't know. I'm weird. To each his own. If you like it, I love it. That's how I see it. Um, also at um, the beauty supply store, separate beauty supply store, I was on the hunt today, y'all, for makeup. I haven't bought makeup or makeup products in like two and a half months. Um, I picked up the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Let me see if I can get the show up for y'all. Pro Conceal. It's an HD concealer. It's just not for focus. It's a, it's a webcam. What do you do? Um, it's a HD concealer and the color is dark cocoa. I wanted to try this and this is the applicator. It's a brush applicator and as you can see I already opened it and played with it. Um, now um, on me, if y'all can see, like I said this is a webcam, I will get closer. I have dark circles and what my husband calls raccoon eyes and he loves the raccoon eyes but I don't so I can seal them and right through here my sinus area is like really light it's lighter than my entire face as a matter of fact um, I have bad sinuses and when um, I have anything science related going on my nose in here actually swells and that is why it's so light. And that's why the dark circle in my eyes is so dark from the assignment status. So, um, I can seal that. Now, and, um, my MAC concealer is NW45. My, my foundation color in MAC is NW47. So, um, I wanted to try this. And I have hardly touched my MAC foundation. I am loving my makeup forever face and body. But, um, I wanted to try, you know, a new concealer phone break. I wanted to try a um, new concealer so I picked that one up. Phone's ringing and I'm recording a video so it'll be alright. Um, so we'll try that out. Um, I put it on my hand earlier and it covers really 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 well. Covers awesomely. The only problem that I have with this concealer that I can see might be a slight problem is that this concealer has that makeup old school foundation smell. If you can imagine what the old CoverGirl foundation used to smell like, that's exactly what this concealer smells like. As to where my MAC um, Studio Tech concealer doesn't have a smell whatsoever. And I'm a little sensitive to smells. And like I said, this smell loud like you can smell that you have makeup on type of smell 
and it was on my hair for an hour. After an hour, I could still smell it on my hand until I washed it away. That's how much you can smell this. So, um, I'm a little concerned about that, but um, we'll see. Um, the last thing I bought was um, a body scrub. I love body scrubs. They're like my favorite thing in the world are body scrubs. Um, I could make it myself, but I ain't just so lazy to go out and buy them. And actually, um, when I ran out of my last body scrub, I actually um, made my own with uh, raw tornado sugar because that's the only sugar we use in my house. Olive oil and some peppermint castile soap. And that, like, was, like, the best scrub ever. But I went to my BSS, and I saw something that I just could not pass up because it was such a good deal. So I'll show it to you. This is the, yep, this is Carol's Daughter's Chocolate Brown Sugar Scrub. Um, this exact jar i looked it up before i came to you guys so i would get it right retails on her website for 34 dollars plus shipping i got this from my beauty supply store for see if y'all can see it 6.99 now i know y'all might y'all go have some questions because you know i'm a skeptic and i have no questions that is authentic carol's daughter bias from it didn't it you know, it's not a dupe. It came so shrink wrapped and everything. Um, I know it's authentic because I've ordered Carol's Daughter's products before, so I know you know what I was getting. And it smells awesome. Um, I love this jar. I'm gonna find something to do with this jar when it's an open. But um, don't want to spill my laptop. But let me see if y'all can see. There's the products right there, and. It smells like chocolate, sugary goodness. <laughs> so, I got this, and I love, 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 love body scrubs. So, because I love this so, 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 so much, um, once we get to about 50 or so subscribers, about 50, 50, 50, 75 subscribers, I will be personally buying another one of these. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to show you that I have it. And then I'm going to give it away. We'll have a little giveaway when I reach about 75, 50, 75 subscribers between now. Just because I love this stuff so much. And I might throw some Nikki K products in there too. Um, so, yeah. Um, nothing else going on. Um, I'm adjusting to the city just fine. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I miss my car. Like alcohol. This is liquor. That's how much I miss my car. And my husband is going to pick up one of our cars. I'm, I'm about to come back up here and tell y'all a story about how we moved up here. <laughs> but um, he's going to pick up uh, one of our cars so, you know, we just have one car here. And, you know, I actually don't mind the bus because the money that I pay for, you know, a bus card every month is a fraction of, a fraction of what I would pay for gas and car insurance fraction. I get a bus card for $75 and get on the bus non-stop to where I need to go every single day. And $75 will go in my gas tank every week. So I see the saving money, but I like the option that my car is sitting in the driveway and I can look at it. And I can drive it if I want to. So I miss my car. Um, still looking for a job. Um, I put in for the Department of Labor here. So I'm hoping, praying, pray, 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 Lord, please let that come through. That'd be an awesome job. It's part-time, which would be perfect because um, I'd be able to spend the time with my kids that I need to spend, but also be making the money that, you know, I should be making. And so that would be awesome. Um, last Monday, I started school again, my master's program. I'm going to Capella Online for my master's in public service with concentration in human and social services. So when I'm done, all said and done, um, at the beginning of 2013, I will be a graduate with my master's in social work. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, 
I've always known that I should be working with youth in some kind of capacity, so I'm hoping to work with at-risk young women. Um, so that is what, you know, I'm striving for right now at this point in my life. I'm 30. I need to, you know, be settled in a career. So I think. I know some people don't find their true passions in life till way later on, but in this case, I've known what I should have been doing for years now and just been avoiding it like the devil. So, gotta stop running the face up to what you're supposed to be doing. Um, other than that, um, I'll be coming to y'all with a shoe review from some shoes I got from Brunella Martin over on Facebook. I got these shoes in June. Or July, I believe. I'm just not reviewing them because, to be honest, I didn't cross my mind. It didn't cross my mind at all. <laughs> I saw them shoes. I was like, I need to review these shoes. And I hadn't got to it. So I might do that right after this video. Um, also come to y'all with, you know, my plans to lose some weight. I plan on losing about 10 pounds. And I've already started drinking water. This is actually sparkling mineral water because I don't like drinking regular water so I figure if it, this is like soda and it's water it'll go down better for me and it actually does. Uh, so we'll talk about that and if there's anything else you want to talk about leave it in the comment bar and you know or inbox me um, and you know I'll get right on that. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Y'all be blessed, and I thank, 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 thank you for subscribing and listening to me ramble or rave and whatever else I do on this channel. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Bye. Be blessed.